What's going on guys, Ryan with Gentleman Joe, back with another video today! Sozo -so Toys Detective Vigilante, aka Robin, let's roll. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video, hope you guys are excited about this. We have had so many releases over the last couple weeks. I know some people are going, oh my wallet, this is crazy. It's crazy, just so many. And there's a lot more to come there. Uh, we are nowhere near done. One of an anticipated, a lot, a lot of people out there have been wanting to check out the Detective Vigilante, AKA Robin from uh, the Titans uh, series. I gotta be, okay, I'm just gonna be upfront with you guys about this. I'm gonna review this from a figure perspective because honestly, I didn't make it past season one. I didn't even make it all the way through season one of Titans. So, I, I, I tried. I tried. That Raven character could, I just, the Shatter, Shatterstar, the, I just, or not Shatterstar, Starfire. Shatterstar is Marvel. Uh, Starfire. However, the dude playing Robin, in, at least in the first episode, was pretty badass. And uh, so this is, I, I'm actually somewhat, somewhat excited about this, even though I don't really like. Uh, the show. But enough of me rambling about that. Let's get into this. Check out the box. We've got another So So Toys offering. You see it right there, So So Toys. We've got Detective Vigilante, number 22 in their uh, six scale figure line, and hopefully a lot more to come. I think they're actually making a Raven. I think they teased that maybe a few months ago. Uh, and obviously, we've got a, a Nightwing figure coming at some point. I'm trying to see what's on the back. Um, but this one, I think, is going to be, uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. The last Soso Toys figure I got was the uh, Butcher from The Boys. So super excited to hopefully soon, I don't know when, but hopefully soon we'll see Homelander. I think that would be pretty sweet. So we've got some instructions. Let's see what this says. Please note that the armor belt and the cape are non-removable. Please also pay extra attention on the tiny golden armor on both shoulder. So that's the, okay. Uh, do not squeeze, scratch, uh, this this thing right here on the shoulder. Do not squeeze, scratch, or press hardly uh, so they will not fall off. Uh, so on the shoulder, it's just telling us to be careful uh, with those pieces and then those are not removable. So there's that. That's good. Instructions are always a good thing. So we got a little, should have a double clamshell here, but you're being difficult. Oh, no, it's just one clamshell. Okay, it's just one. There we go. I was looking for a second one, but there's not one. Let's check it out. Got our instructions here off the side. The colors on this. Dude, come on. Those colors are fantastic. Look at that. Here, give you guys a close look. The colors on this are very, very cool. Like the muted greens and then this nice yellow, orange, gold uh, inter inner cape with the red and the green. That's good costume design all the way around. Uh, for uh, those at the studios, but that looks pretty stinking good. So we're gonna get two head sculpts. Obviously, we've got the one with the mask, then we're gonna have one without the mask. Uh, I don't know that I would really use this one, but we'll definitely check it out since it came with it. Uh, but uh, let's see here, I'll get you out of the way for a second. Here's the one without the mask, and it's not bad. I, I, I just don't see me using this one. I guess if you had a, a spare body or if you wanted to do like a street closed uh, version of this character, this would be a good way to do it. The expression is a little shocking. I, I'm not sure what, what, what he's going for here. Um, it's almost like, like somebody did something that was uncomfortable and then he's just like, uh, what did I just see? I don't know. Uh, but um, so I'll probably go with the masked uh, head sculpt. But Sozo Toys does a very, very good job for a third party unlicensed uh, figure. I, th I think they did a really good job with the likeness, actually. It's, that's pretty good from the, looks, looks like the dude from the show. So that's not bad. Uh, what else have we got? We've got his uh, Robin, uh, I, don't, I don't know what they're called really. Looks like these are the little Robin things that come off of his armor. If I can even pick them up, they're so tiny. Wow. Look how tiny that is. Woo. So those are nice. These are plastic. Nice detail there. Look at his staff. Again, nice detail. I mean, there's no, that I can tell, there's no paint applications actually on this piece. 
We got a robin. We've got some extra hands here in the uh, in the packaging. Let me get these guys out of here. And then we're gonna have a display base. So so toys makes some really cool display base. And I, I like the fact, honestly, that they're all pretty similar. Like here's the robin one. If you went back and look at all the other Soso Toys ones, they're all the same shape. They got this diamond plate pattern and they throw a logo in the middle. Uh, but I think that is pretty nice. I, I dig it. Honestly, I honestly like these. I like these way better than like those uh, other companies that have the sand bases with the footprints in them uh, that they give to uh, non-human figures that don't make any flipping sense. Uh, so there's that. However, I do wish we could get a dynamic stand for characters like this that you might want in a jumping or fighting pose, flipping, doing whatever. Uh, you don't really get that option uh, with this. So we'll see what we can do with that in the posing section, but I think it looks pretty good. Hands-wise, we got a couple of fisted hands actually on the figure. And then we've got these guys, which look like Two hands uh, for the uh, for the staff. Look at this. Look at the paint applicator. I guess it'd be easier to do this to me. But look at the paint applications on that. That looks really good, honestly. Nice little stitching effect going on on the back of the uh, of the wrist. Black in there, light gray in there, striations going on. I mean, even like where the knuckles are, you can see how it's bent and it would be wrinkled up. They did a good job with these. All right, so we get a couple of relaxed hands. These things look fairly nice. I don't really have much issue with that. Uh, we get those guys, and then we'll move on to the figure itself, which, uh, guys, check out the colors on this thing. This thing is freaking beautiful. Th this is one that will stand out on the display case of your shelf, uh, and uh, it really has some eye catching. And I mean, the, the costume design by the, the folks who worked on the show is just brilliant. Uh, this nice gold, uh, yellowish orange color going on here on the, in the inside of the cape and it is flat black on the back and there is a wire going on the bottom and there's a wire going along the side and then the reds and the greens and the ambers and the the, the gold and uh, the silver I mean just all of it together looks fantastic and good thing about so so toys is uh, they were very kind enough to give us two different head sculpts now we'll tell you the uh, the head sculpt right here it's a little awkward for me but uh, this one with the mask, which is the exact same head sculpts, just got the mask that's literally just probably glued on there. Uh, that one looks quite fantastic. I, I, I'm a big fan of that one, actually. So I would have loved to see a more angry expression or something like that for posing purposes and action. But I can understand why, you know, they chose not to go that route. Coloring wise on the material, again, looks fantastic. You guys can see that right there. But this material is a cloth. This is definitely a textile. This is not anything uh, pleather. This is not spandex. This is not neat. This is straight up fabric. Uh, and it's going to be very durable for posing. We're going to be able to get nice bend out of the elbows and not have to worry about any of that creasing issues because it's just fabric, as you guys can see. These are the uh, armor piece pieces they were telling us to worry about in the instructions to so make sure we don't mess with those. Uh, one thing it will do is it will limit. There's not a whole lot of getting that up there because you can see it's tight in here. So that's kind of pulling that shoulder down. We could probably manipulate the inner inside of that uh, as we get to the posing section. So we'll have to see about that. Ab crunch can be pretty good. Uh, and then uh, should have a double bend on the knee. But again, fabric's gonna get in the way, but that, I, I think we can maneuver around that. Uh, and then because of the fabric being as thick as it is, uh, that's about as far as that splitting and going back is not, I mean, it's not, it's gonna go forward way more than it's gonna go back. But I think it's serviceable. I don't think it's gonna be too big a problem. The boots are nice because they give us a split boot. So that's a nice design. And then on the bottom, no tread whatsoever, but we do have that little ninja style split uh, going right in there. So all overall, uh, it's a beautiful looking figure. I think they did a really good job with this thing, but I think it's time to get to posing. All right guys, so we've got Robin posed up and uh, I wasn't gonna use the stand, but he kept falling over on my slippery turntable thing. So I figured what the heck, uh, we'll use that. But it looks quite good. Honestly, I'm telling you, this thing's gonna stand out on your display if you decide to pick this up. So pretty uh, pretty stoked for this one, even though I get, again, you know, didn't really like the show, but whatever. Uh, the figure itself, Sozo Toys, I think did a, a really good job. You guys see this guy turning around, but you look at the colors and the way the lights bouncing off the armor and then the fabric. Head sculpt looks great. 
I, I don't really have any issues with this. The boots are fine, although you will see because I've got a pretty decent bend in that front ankle, as it rotates around, you can actually see uh, the split in there. But I mean, that's just it's part of having figures and, and, and not statues. Uh, but check out the detail on this uh, fabric. I mean, they just did a really good job, I think. So I'm pretty pleased with this one. Uh, I like the pose, honestly, if, you know, for not uh, doing too much of a uh, uh, Robin-esque. I, I guess this would be a Robin pose. I don't even know. But I like it. Uh, I will tell you this. The hand to hold the, uh, the, the staff, you got to heat the hell out of them things. Good God, they were they were definitely. Uh, it, it took a minute or so with the hair dryer on high, and, and it just it, it was it was a chore. Um, so definitely heat those up. Otherwise, you're gonna break something. So don't do that. Definitely heat them up. Take your time. Pose your figures. Let's do another pose. Moving on to the second pose, we're gonna have some fun with this. Actually, use the stand again. Broke out the wires in that cape to see what it would do, and uh, I think it looks pretty stinking good. Just my opinion. I mean, I might be biased. It's all good. Uh, but if you guys want to see how I did it right here, uh, you can use a pose like this for all kinds of different figures. Uh, I wanted to use the uh, the staff in there once more and uh, get them in a little bit, you know, more, more of an action pose. And uh, I think it works pretty well. So a couple of things when manipulating this particular pose to take note of. Once again, I had to heat up the other hand to get around that, uh, that staff because it is just a complete nightmare to deal with. Uh, honestly, if you don't heat it up, it's just, it ain't happening. Uh, other thing is the material. While definitely don't have to worry about creasing, bunches up in the joints and uh, we'll fight with you a little bit. I do believe the armor, the front armor plate, uh, Velcro would have been a better option in my opinion. Let the fabric do what it's gonna do, have that armor plate Velcro on there, and uh, I think that would have made it a little bit more durable. So that, you know, those are, those are just kind of my thoughts on, on those pieces. We saw that with the Hot Toys Mandalorian where they literally just, it's just Velcro pieces on there. I think that would have been just fine and it would have um, solved some problems that you would, could potentially have this, even they, you know, mentioned the instructions. It's like, don't, don't do a torso twist. That's so extreme uh, because you're going to uh, dismantle uh, that armor plate. So uh, that's just my thoughts on this, but overall I'm pretty pleased with this. As somebody who's not, not the biggest DC collector. Again, you guys can see it for yourselves. It's going to look great on the shelf. And um, yeah, it should, uh, should be a lot of fun for those who want to pick it up. I'd recommend it. If you want a Titans figure, you plan on collecting Titans line, or you just want a Robin that looks cool, uh, this is definitely one uh, that would pick up. And eventually, I will be doing my Hot Toys 66 Batman and Robin review. Uh, I've had them for like two or three months now, and they're still in the box. I just haven't, I just haven't done the videos yet, so there's that. But this one looks fantastic. And I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you like the pose, let me know in the comment section down below. And um, as always, click what you like. We'll see you next time.